antibiotic resistance, a problem reaching crisis levels. According to a recent study published in The Lancet, over 39 million people could die from drug-resistant infections in the next 25 years if urgent action isn't taken. And it's not just direct deaths. The study warns of an additional 169 million lives lost indirectly due to complications associated with antibiotic resistance. For perspective, by 2050, researchers say deaths associated with antibiotic resistance could increase by up to 75% from what we're seeing today. The study also highlights how low- and middle-income countries are set to bear the brunt of the crisis, especially in sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. These regions already experience the highest rates of antibiotic-resistance-related deaths, driven primarily by infections like multidrug-resistant tuberculosis. The elderly are also most at risk from antimicrobials, with deaths up by 80% in the past three decades amongst over 70s. And the economic impact is equally concerning. Researchers predict that by 2030, the global economy could suffer losses of up to $3.4 trillion annually. The ripple effects of this burden could strain healthcare systems and hurt national economies, particularly in countries that can least afford it. The report suggests that measures like improving care for serious infections, developing new vaccines and promoting judicious use of antibiotics could save up to 92 million lives between now and 2050. These findings come just days ahead of a UN General Assembly meeting on the issue, highlighting the urgent need for global cooperation.